Alright, it's the final game for the Iowa men's basketball team in this in-state rivalry run. They'll be taking on the Drake Bulldogs inside Carver Hawkeye Arena. Uh, this will be Coach Todd Licklider's first game back uh, after recovering from surgery. If you've been following Iowa Drake's series last couple of years, you'll know that Iowa has lost three straight to the Bulldogs. These two teams are pretty similar overall. They're both young teams, very balanced, not one guy that sticks out for either team really. Um, Iowa, a little better on the glass than the Bulldogs, a little better on the defensive end. Drake, however, is the better shooting team and a little better at taking care of the ball than the Iowa Hawkeyes. Drake, if you look at their schedule, has one of the weakest strengths of schedule in the entire nation, yet only one of their five wins has been more uh, has been the wins have been more than double digits. The Bulldogs don't particularly hit the uh, offensive glass very well, and on the defensive end of the, of the ball, they give up more points per 100 possessions than anyone in Division I basketball this year. And Drake also has had troubles this year closing out basketball games. So if this game happens to be close down the run, you might see uh, you might see the Bulldogs struggle in that regard. Uh, I think a couple of the key players for Drake. First of all, let's take a look at their unquestionable leader on their team. <clears throat> Excuse me, number 20, six foot one, 175 pound senior guard, Josh Young. He's been around forever. It seems like down there in Des Moines. Uh, he's coming off a, a nagging injury last year. He's a good shooter. Got great handles and gets to the lane when he wants to. Does not turn the ball over very very much at all. So he's just a solid solid guard for Drake. Um, you've seen him, like I said, the last three years. It seems like ten years that he's been down there. Another senior to look at be number 44, 6'6", six 225-pound six, forward, uh, Adam Templeton. He's a versatile forward, a little undersized to play the four or three spot, depending where he's at in the court. But he's a good, he's a really good shooter for, for being a forward, and uh, he's team, the team's best rebounder. He's had some issues with foul trouble this year, but he's definitely an aggressive player and gives them a spark. Take a look at a couple of newcomers for the Bulldogs. Uh, first of all, as a transfer that came in, Ryan Weedle. He was a former Mr. Basketball for Kansas a couple years back. He's deadly from the three-point uh, three range. If you have time, go to YouTube and check out what he did in high school. He had a 25-point scoring barrage in just over two minutes. Uh, it was on ESPN, I believe, but uh, pretty cool little thing there. So that guy is someone to look out there when, he, when he's out there behind the arc. The other guy to take a look at is Van Deest. He was a guy, a uh, big guy from Iowa and state recruit. Uh, Iowa looked at him a little bit in the recruiting, and uh, he's really started to come on as of late. Big guy and uh, could... Uh, post some problems down low for Iowa. Iowa's going to win the battle on the boards uh, in this game. There's no doubt about it. And even though Drake is a terrific free throw shooting team, Iowa is going to neutralize that because they just don't foul. And they don't put people on the line. They're 18th fewest fouls in the nation so far this year. Uh, this game probably is going to end up being a three-point clinic. Both teams make over uh, right around nine three-pointers a game, both uh, shooting the ball a lot from behind the three-point arc. Iowa's a normally a team, as you know, that is limited in possessions. Well, I, uh, Drake's defense is going to help Iowa in that one. As I said, they give up a ton of points per possession, and if Iowa's possessions are limited, that's going to help out in that regard. Uh, you look, I'm going to look to see uh, Matt Gaydon's continue to play outstanding basketball. He's had two great back-to-back -back games so far, but the problem is Iowa hasn't had that second or third player to step up. This game, I think you'll see Cole get a lot of touches down low, do some things down low, even with uh, with with. Uh, uh, Van Deese down low. He should be able to do some things. And the other guy to take a look at is Tucker outside. If he can hit a shot, Iowa's going to look very good in this one. Give you a couple of my Lou Holtz stats of the game. Iowa hasn't lost a Saturday game yet this year. And if Iowa's winning at the half, they're going to win. And if they're losing in the half, they're going to lose if things go so far this year. Um, currently, all three of their wins have come when they're leading at half. They're 3-0 in that regard. And they're 0-7 if they've been tied or losing at half. And also, Iowa has not won a ball game wearing black or white uniforms this year. Iowa is a 5.5 favorite in this one, and if both teams are hitting it from behind the arc, you could see the scores uh, hit, in, hit in the 80s. Uh, with that said, though, I'm going to give a prediction on this one. Iowa 68, Drake 59.